So Stellar Blade reviews have dropped, and trust me, it is glorious right now. I even found out a soy boy, a weirdo soy boy from Games Radar had me blocked. Man, it, it's a little tough about Games Radar, because I thought Games Radar might have been one of the last ah, fuck good ones. But, fuck them. But that's on me. That's on me. I should have I should have known better. This guy, Austin Wood, apparently doesn't like good-looking women in video games. Yeah, he so he has me blocked. So right here. And it's all because of this article right here where he says, uh, Stellar Blade puts Eve in some incredibly stupid sexy outfits that hurt the game's story. But despite the forced sex appeal, I actually love her detailed design. Imagine being a fucking man and being upset at sexy outfits in a video game what a fucking loser so i just responded with the good old go fuck yourself crazy with these female led female character led games where it is so important to them that the fe the lead female character is ugly and has very masculine tra traits mm -hmm. but god forbid heaven forbid that your female lead character is actually feminine well, everybody fucking loses their mind. Yes, yes. That's a really, really bad thing from the game's journo's perspective these days. IGN's review of Stellar Blade. Right here, IGN says Stellar Blade is a great in all uh, of the most important ways for an action game, but dull characters, a lackluster story, and several frustrating elements of its RPG mechanics prevent it from soaring along with the best of the genre. I review. Now, they gave it a, I think they gave it a 7 out of 10. Now, again, do I really care what IGN thinks? No, not at all. But I like trolling them. I like being like, wait a minute, why do you hate a female character? Why is it a dull character? Because it's a woman? Do you think that there's a problem with having a woman? Is that why? Why? I also did comment on yeah. why do you hate women and I already have ratioed them. So it's going to be a very fun day with the Stellar Blade reviews dropping and all of the uh, woke games journalists melting down. So I've already been blocked by Games Radar guy. Before I even knew he existed, he already had me blocked. Now we have the IGN review out there. Overall, last time I looked over on Metacritic, it's sitting at about an 80 right now, I think, which is a, a pretty good score for the most part. I feel like that's going to go down uh, the more that we get some of the woke games journalists uh, getting involved in it. But yeah, just trolling IGN right now pretty damn fun so Dull characters man is ign saying that the best part about this character is her appearance wow that's a little sexist. that's a little sexist hmm. that's a little sexist a little and misogynistic ign yeah that's very sexist actually i'm very bothered by that i don't want to be affiliated with a company that just thinks a woman is good for her looks and only her looks ign we need to hashtag be better okay hashtag please be better, man. please be better ultimately i don't know man i do think that this game is going to this is going to be a a huge release the sales are going to be through the roof we talked about this a little bit yesterday and now watching the reviews kind of roll out it's clear that it's a good game but some of these publications are trying to criticize some nonsensical points of the game and it's still you can see their bias you can see their bias in some of the ways that they're talking about it and Again, this is games journalism right here. I mean, no one's surprised by this. Uh, this is why people don't trust them. So just watching them kind of kind of dance around certain elements of this is pretty damn funny. Stellar Blade is currently at an 82. 82, okay. 82 so an 82. That's on, not um, that's actually a pretty good score overall. 82 based on 89 critic reviews. Oh, okay. Uh, video not gamer. If you take just the combat and the music from Stellar Blade, you've got a fantastic game. Sadly, it's just not the whole package a lot of 80s dexterto yeah. these are really good scores though overall so yeah um here we go new game network stellar blade is mostly enjoyable action game with solid combat strong presentation a good enemy designs it's scantily clad heroine and is not very interesting and neither is the story but there's enough here to warrant a peak there's ign <laughs> right there the gamer <laughs> I'm as conflicted about Stellar Blade as it seems to be about my uh, uh, about itself. It's uh, competent and occasionally interesting with combat as unique and rewarding as is repetitive and frustrating. Less style over substance than is beauty over brains. There is a... Ooh. Then it is beauty over brains. Wow. wow. That's a really sexist comment right there. Unbelievable. We've been talking about... 
whether this is going to be the next Hogwarts legacy. The fact that it's a PlayStation 5 exclusive, I think it's going to not quite hit that kind of threshold of the, I guess, protest and counter protest that Hogwarts legacy received. Well, and it's also not based year. on and it's also and not it's based not on a mass. Yeah, it's not based off of Harry Potter. But what I'm saying, when I say it's the Hogwarts legacy of 2024, what I'm saying is that it's going it's to be ignored. it's going to be ignored by yeah. the mainstream games industry in terms of awards and all of that. It's more about how it was the best selling game of the year and they completely ignored it. And it's all because the boycott failed. Now, with Stellar Blade, I don't think that the the massive meltdown over Stellar Blade is quite the same as, as Hogwarts Legacy. But if you just look at a lot of the loud voices within the woke games journalism industry, they're very upset about Stellar Blade. They're very mad. They're very angry. And uh, generally speaking, I think gamers are going to love this game. And they're going to sell this game's going to sell a lot. And I think that the games industry is going to ignore it for the most part.